Hey guys, it's Brittany. So, today's going to be a popcorn chat video, and today I'll be discussing with you on the film Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So, yeah, so it is a good movie, I will admit that, although there's one, one thing I don't like, and that's, well, you know, I, I don't want to say it, because once I say it, I'm, mm, no, I'm not gonna be, I'm just gonna be, <laughs> just, completely scared so of course um so harry potter and the chamber of secrets is a sequel to the first one um the second installment of boy wizard harry potter's adventures of hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry based on the novel by jk rowling or is it rowling i'm sorry um a mysterious elf tells Harry to expect trouble during his second year at Hogwarts, but nothing can prepare him for trees that fight back, flying cars, spiders that talk, and deadly warnings written in blood on the walls of the school. <clears throat> okay, my throat's feeling a bit dry at the moment. I don't know why. It could be that I need water or something. Could be. So, directed by Chris Columbus. And yeah, we have a, a really good cast here starring Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, Emma Watson, Kenneth Branagh, John Cleese. Uh, Robbie Coltrane. Uh, that's how you say it. I'm. I'm so sorry if I had said that wrong. Um, Warwick Davis, Richard, uh, Griffiths. Um, uh, Richard Harris, Jason Isaacs, Alan Rickman, Fiona Shaw, Maggie Smith, and Julie Walters. Okay. So. Oh. Okay, I didn't know this. Um, so it says here it was released November 15th, 2002. So that was two days after my birthday. So let's see. I was... Okay, let me think. <laughs> let me think here. Uh... Oh, okay, I was 11. So yeah, I was 11 when it came out just two days after my birthday and so see so yeah, this is like said, a good um movie although yeah that of oh, the talking spiders not good although i don't think it was any of them that did except for one so I don't know how he can talk really. I, I just think anything, I feel like when, when it comes to a, a terrifying creature uh, that can talk, that's very, like, uh, utterly unsettling and just horrifying and just like nightmarish you know oh no and the thing is i've actually had a nightmare of a talking spider so i don't know if you ever want to hear about that but if you do uh, i probably might share that um in october when i do videos in october then <laughs> You know, like on horror movies and maybe scary dreams, but uh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. 
<sighs> oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna need more water. So yes, um, I gotta say with with the story of the second one, it's just really good, and and so with the cast, you know, they did great with their performances, and yeah, I just loved. I, I would say I really loved the atmosphere of the location of you know of Harry Potter, of Hogwarts, and the way and this school looks. I don't know if it's actually a school. I think or if not, but I just love the way it looks and to me it feels quite magical and it feels like it was the perfect um, setting for uh, to film of like imagining like okay this is the school of um, Hogwarts. So yeah, it was just perfect. And yeah, I, I would say that we got a perfect cast here. And with their performances, you know, they just fit their roles so well. And oh, I forgot. Okay, the music. I cannot forget the music. But yes, it is just great. And I gotta say, even with the costume designs um, of the Hogwarts uniforms for Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor, um, uh, great costume designs. You know, not just on the Hogwarts uh, uniforms for each house, but also for the characters, you know, for all the characters in, in this movie. Okay, music by John Williams. And of course, he also composed the music of Jaws and Jurassic Park and of course other films he composed for of Steven Spielberg's movies. So, yeah, and for him to compose the music for uh, Harry Potter, you know, even this one, it's just great because you really get the feel that that it feels like just, you know, otherworldly, like this very magical world, you know, and it's just great how music can make you feel like you're in that world, especially when you're watching a movie. So. Yeah, but that's just great. But like I said, the costume designs are great. And but yeah, I would say even the okay, even the special effects are good in this one. I would say especially who I won't uh -huh. I don't wanna mention it, but I feel like I would probably have to but Oh, my eyes twitching. <laughs> um, okay, so I would say the, the special effects look real to uh, the spiders to that scene when they had to go to the dark forest um, to talk to it, although it has a name. It's, uh, Aragog? Uh, okay, I'm already feeling just, like, tense and uneasy right now because of talking about this, but, uh, so yeah, I don't know how they did it, although I think I can imagine what it was what they did, um, so, I think what they did was they had to build this huge animatronic of a, um, you know, that spider, although I don't know what kind of spider it is, but they had to, I think they had to build like a huge animatronic one, but plus using um, CGI, um, I think to make it a uh, not only to make it look real, but also to make it come 
alive. Mm. You know, it's kind of, it, it's like it's like what they did with Jurassic Park, like when they built the animatronics of the dinosaurs. So even though they looked real of the animatronics, but they also used CGI. Um, so they used both. So with them combined, it just made them not look only real, but it made them came alive in the movie. Now I just gotta say I can handle seeing a T Rex than a spider. So if anything, I would prefer be facing, you know, I would rather be face to face with a T-Rex animatronic of Jurassic Park rather than to face the of a animatronic spider. Like, no, 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 no. Thank you. I will pass and I will run for my life <laughs> because I would I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know, because I care about my safety. <laughs> and I would rather uh, just be away from those days, keep my distance, you know, long, long, long distance. So it's like, no. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, that's right. That's what I was going to do. I completely forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> it's still dropping. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Need more. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm just laughing. I think it's because I'm just trying not to feel scared here. So, by the same time, the way I'm acting at the same time I find it kind of funny too but I'm also like oh my gosh okay I just need water it doesn't say okay so I'm looking up a plot here and it doesn't say what color Find what type of spider um, Aragog is. It doesn't say, but I don't like the sight of it. Oh, even just thinking of it, I'm just like. It doesn't say. Although I don't think Wikipedia would be that specific on what type it is, but and the thing is I'm not sure how it got so big, but I just want to say that um with the CGI, I would say with the if they did do an animatronic with the CGI to make it come alive, and I think with the other spiders, I I don't know if they made other animatronics for those other spiders which were Aragog's um children you know so I don't know if they had to use other animatronics for those ones possibly but I think maybe most of them were CGI but I gotta say they did a good job with that because it did make it look real and terrifying because um and I just want to say real quick here, because I might do a back in time watches on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, so I might do that sometime later this year. I just don't know when. Maybe in October. Maybe. So, um, but I just want to say this real quick that, um, yeah, I remember, because I'm now, when I first saw it, I was actually, um, let's say I saw it with my dad um, at the time with my younger sister, but I think he knew that me and my sister were afraid of spiders. I'm not sure how. I think he probably knew. But um, so when he did knew that we were afraid, he told us not to look. So the whole time that scene came up where he, you know, where Harry and Ron had to talk to Aragog. So when it came to the rest of that scene, and afterwards they were, they, 
um, you know, they sold more, uh, spiders. Uh, so yeah, the whole time I did not look, I don't think Natalie looked with my sister, and so the whole time I have my eyes covered, so I'm like this, so when I'm like this, I can hear like a really deep, scary voice, I'm like, oh my god, it's like, what is going on? You know, because I had no idea to what was going on and to what Harry was talking to. So, but there was a time where, because this was, this was years, so this was when it came out in theaters, and I remember it wasn't until, what was it, I think I was, what I would say in my early 20s when I had to, no, when I did watch the Harry Potter movies again, so when it came to the second one, I remember uh, my friend Kelly, she told me, oh yeah, just, just to let you know, there are spiders in the second one, and I was like, what? And, and so when it came to that part, and since she did warn me about it, I thought, okay, how is it gonna be? And then when it came to that, um, I was terrified and and yeah, I remember thinking wait a minute I remember seeing this movie with my sister and my dad and the theaters when it came out but at that time he knew we were afraid of spider so he told us not to look so we didn't we uh, covered our eyes uh, at least for me I remember that I covered my eyes the whole time and so when I was actually seeing it and seeing how you know big it was um yeah I remember I was I was so terrified that I was actually screaming and my hands my arms were shaking and then when it came to even more that uh, I, I, I felt like I just couldn't stop screaming so <laughs> You know, that's how terrified I am, and so, um, so yeah, I remember, so even when that part was over, I just felt like, oh. so to me, it just felt like, oh, okay, my heart's still pounding fast, okay, I gotta, gotta breathe, <laughs> so, and yeah, that's how I felt, and that's how I still feel even when it comes to when it still comes to that, but although what I do now is that when it does come to that part, I don't look at Aragog and I don't look at his other um, children, spiders, only because seeing them terrifies me and you know, it, you know, and I, oof. It's like either I, I will start shaking, you know, or either I'm gonna be so frozen and I I'll feel like I can't move. So it just depends to how how scared I am and depends on that, you know. So so yeah, now when I do watch it and when it does come to that, I usually just, you know, turn away, you know where I'm like this, or either, you know, I'll get a blanket, so I just put it right over my head, and I'm just like this the whole time, so instead of looking at them, I could just hear to what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what I do, so anyway, I'm sorry for going on about that, but, but my point was is that with the animatronics, oh, that was the Okay, don't worry, nothing paranormal, but my point is, is that with the animatronics, I believe they used of the spiders and the CGI, which made it look real and terrifying, really terrifying, and I think they did a good job with that because it had me screaming and my arms shaking when I when I first saw it for the first time. Well, actually, it was my second time watching it, but my first time seeing that scene. So, yeah, good job on <laughs>
you know, making me terrified with that because it really, it really looks real and just like, just so unnerving, just utterly, you know, like unsettling and just beyond horrifying, you know? I gotta say, they also did a good job with uh, the basilisk, which is a snake. But yeah, honestly, even that looks scary too, even up close. It's like, oh uh, no, I would not want that to be facing me. And I'm, you know, like, oh no, I would not want that to be in front of my face because I would be scared too and I would just run and hide from that thing. <laughs> And plus, you know, I think you should run and hide from the basilisk because when you, um, okay, so from what I know is that when you see the eyes, um, I would say if you see the eyes of the basilisk of the reflection, so let's say if it's in the reflection of water or in of a window or even of a mirror, then um, you'll be paralyzed. You'll be paralyzed, but you'll be able to. Um, the, the, there's a cure for it where you won't be paralyzed. But if you look at it where it's not the reflection, but if you look at it directly in the eye, it kills you. And that's scary, though. That is scary to know that if you were to come face to face with it and look at it directly in the eye, that the sight of it kills you. And even in the movie, it's mentioned that even spiders are afraid of it because, um, because of that. And, and I think they have good reason to be afraid of it because, for one, they don't have, um, in case for those who don't know, or for those who may know, <clears throat> is that spiders don't have eyelids. They don't, and, uh... So, you know, it's like, whether if they're awake or asleep, I would say especially if they're asleep, you won't be able to tell if they're asleep because they don't have eyelids where they could close their eyes. No, they have no eyelids, so their eyes are just like, you know, out. Ugh, which, yeah, I find that, mmm, I don't like that. And that's the one thing you can't tell now i think for someone who is an expert on spiders i think they might be able to tell whether a spider is awake or asleep but still you know well, i feel like everything about them is just so unnatural just uh, terrifying you know, they're, I, I see them as uh, like horror creatures. That's the best way to put them. But anyway, um, no, okay, I'm sorry, but I went back to that. But anyway, so yes, they did a good job with, um, with the CGI, um, with the special effects of the basilisk, and even with um, Fox, um, but yeah, everything of Chamber of Secrets was, was just done very well and I just, you know, really enjoy the story and just enjoy, like, um, to what's going on in this journal and how Tom Riddle is communicating with Harry, um, with, uh, of his diary and how and just for a short moment, he was able to travel back in time um, to a, a very specific time. And so, Harry learned to what he had learned from going back to that time within the diary. But then the moment that it was over, that he was brought back. So, that I liked. So yeah, I would say that that was a, 
good special effect on that. And, um, but yeah, so everyone did a great job. Like I said, the cast is amazing, and, you know, they did very well with their performances. And I gotta say, even, um, yeah, because I, I love all the cast, and, but even Rupert Grant, he did a good job. And from what I didn't know, is that when they had to film that scene of going to the Dark Forest, um, to speak to Aragog. Now, this is what I find funny, but at the same time, relatable, because with Harry, I don't think he's afraid of spiders. Um, it doesn't seem like he was. And so, um, because after they took Hagrid, I think, when they arrested him, uh, uh, to take him to Azkaban, so, after that, you know, uh, and I think it was cool that, you know, we got to see that they were using the invisibility cloak. So, yeah, I, I like that. But after that, um, because, yeah, Hagrid told Ron and Harry, even though no one knew who, who it was he was talking to, but he says, if anyone needs anything, um, he says something like, uh, I would suggest uh, follow the spiders and so after when they took him away and it was just Ron and Harry um, yeah so I agree because <laughs> Ron says something like follow the spiders and and I'm like and I'm thinking that too like follow the spiders what and so when they were following them because you know when you see the, the the little ones so they had to follow them and so I agree with Ron with what he said because he said why spiders why couldn't they follow the butterflies and yeah I agree it's like yeah I I get that like yeah I would rather follow a butterfly like a pretty you know butterfly rather than to follow a spider they, no, like oh yeah, where are they? Where are they gonna lead me to, huh? A torture room, a screaming room, you know. But, mm, but yeah, from what I didn't know is that when they had to film that scene, that Rupert Grant is actually a very spider, so he. Um, has arachnophobia too so when I had learned that I thought no way and, and I thought okay it, it all makes sense now because he seemed so afraid so I thought because at first I thought wow he really seems like he's afraid you know so I thought wow you know the because at first I thought it was just good acting but when it turned out he really had this fear so therefore he was really showing his fear you know and that it wasn't acting because it was real and this was, you know, he was showing how scared he was, you know, because of his fear. So I thought, wow, okay, th that that's totally understandable and I can relate to that because if I had to film a scene, a spider scene in the movie, yeah, that would not be acting. I would actually be showing how absolutely and utterly terrified I am by them you know so yeah I know I would be able to really show that because it would just come through because it's just something that I know where it's like okay I'm not acting here I'm really showing you how terrified I am you know so yeah and you know I think sometimes you that happens in some movies too where someone's filming a scene and that person or maybe the director or maybe the cast may not know that they're not acting when they're um, doing this scene because they're really showing their emotion they're really showing how scared they are because of their fear maybe of like let's say water or 
something else, even if it is spiders, or if it's something else, or, you know, snakes, or, or let's say they're really showing their emotion too, maybe how emotional they are because of how sad the scene is, you know, so, yeah, sometimes you get that where the actor isn't really acting because either they're really showing their fear of what they're really and truly terrified of, or they're really are sad and really emotional because of the scene or maybe uh, maybe it could be that they're really feeling um, maybe angry because of the scene or you know what I mean so it, it I think it depends on the scene and it depends whether you know if it's gonna bring out that real emotion through and you know, and it's not going to be acting because it's going to be how they're really feeling because of that scene itself and how it's making them feel. So they're really showing that emotion, you know. So yeah, um, that's quite relatable. So anyway, I'm sorry if it went back to the spiders again, but I want to get off of that. But anyway, I had no idea that he does have arachnophobia, but he does, and I can relate to that. So anyone who does have that fear, it's relatable, you know, but it's understandable, you know, it's okay to be scared of something that is terrifying, you know, so. You know, it's okay because I know there are a lot of people that are scared of other things too. And there are different kinds of fears, different kinds of phobias of other things. So even that's okay. <clears throat> Again, I think I need, I might need more water. <clears throat> My throat's still a little dry, so I don't know why. kind of rhymed although I wasn't planning on it but yes everything about this movie is great the the cast and their performances the music by John Williams because yeah he's just a great music composer so I enjoyed listening to the music that he did in other movies including Harry Potter so yeah, and it just really brings the movie to life and the scenes and and it's just really great. And like that even the cast did great with um, Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter. He was the perfect choice for Harry and Rupert Grant as Ron and Emma Watson as Hermione Granger. So yeah. They all did great, so I just enjoy their performances when I watch it. But again, when it comes to that scene, I just get a blanket, put it over me, and I'm, and the whole time I'm just like this, because I would not want to be looking at that. I rather hear what's going on instead of looking at them right on the TV, you know, no, no thank you, mm -mm. but um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so I just enjoy the movie, um, you know, e even after that, you know, so yeah, I, I like how it ended, and yeah, it is, I, I really enjoy it, it, it's a good movie. So anyway, um, yeah, so there are some scenes uh, that I like, although I'm trying to remember, <laughs> uh, I can't remember at the moment, but, um, yeah, so anyway, um, that is my, uh, movie discussion on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So yeah, I'm thinking of doing a uh, back in time watches on it soon. I would say maybe sometime in October. So yeah. 
So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So for more movie content, reactions, videos, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. So for more movie content, reactions, dreams, and the paranormal, <laughs> subscribe and click on the bell so you be notified when I upload. That's all for today and I'll see you at the movies.